All set for the third quarter, 28-22, Brookfield leading champion. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Champion 12-3, Brookfield 12-3 coming in. Champion took the first go round on December 14th, 54-51. See which team is able to pull away here in this third quarter. And this is one of the things Coach Morgan talked about. You know, they kind of separated himself in that first game. Champion was able to come back. But if you want to come back, you can't have those type of turnovers. Durso makes uh, a, a mental mistake right there. Every possession counts, especially early on these first couple minutes. You've got to get the pulse and, and feel the tempo of the game. 28-22, Brookfield basketball. Drapola loses the handle. Great hustle there by Champion to try to get the ball, but the Warriors will control. And the paint off the glass and won't go for Kenzie Drapola, but it is trapped down by Bailey. That's the thing about Bailey, Drapola, and Kenzie for that matter, is both of them hustle a great deal. They feed it left of the lane to Sidlowski in the paint. Sheehan flipped it up and in. Anytime that you get the defender right on your back, quick turn, quick flip. Sheehan, nice post move for two. Eight-point Warrior lead into the corner. Three ball in the air. It's an air ball. Offensive rebound is cleaned up by Molly Williams. Left wing for three. It's no good for White. Here come the Warriors down in the opposite direction. Kenzie Drapola taking it baseline. Left of the lane. Fires up the runner. It won't go. Cleaned up by Bellis. It won't go. Bellis tracks down yet another offensive rebound. Kenzie Drapola passed up a wide open look. Great look underneath. Dana Sadlowski, the beneficiary. That was picture perfect on the touch pass. That was a fantastic job by Kenzie Japola. You know, the crowd's telling to shoot it. She knew better. She understand what she was looking for. Her hockey pass creates that excellent job. The lead is 10. Off the miss. Rebound to White for champion. They feed it low post. It won't go, but it's a whistle and a foul. Izzy Durso is going to head to the free throw line. She is just a little bit late on the defensive slide. Doesn't get over to block quick enough. But what you'd like to see is her not giving the easy two, Chad. It'll be personal foul number three on Tori Sheehan. As the free throw is up and good, Sheehan will take a seat. Of course, that is the first foul called here in this third quarter. Izzy Durso is a 37.5% free throw shooter, and that percentage isn't going to get any better there. She stepped over the line. So it stays 32-23 as we're two minutes in to this third quarter. Off the dribble, Kenzie Drapola. There's Madison Bellis looking for Bailey Drapola, and it's knocked out of bounds. It'll stay right here. Bailey Drapola with a little old school kind of Chris Weber move right there, looking for the lob and almost got it. Ball is into Bellis. Topside Pisa. Off the dribble comes Drapola and. A little bit too eager was Drapola, and she walked, and the turnover will give it back to Champion, who is within striking distance, but the Golden Flashes have had some problems executing on the offensive side. And they're going to need some people here to, to make some plays, get active, whether defensively, offensively, you know, get those type of deflections, create opportunities for your teammates, because right now, the zone or any type of uh, movement on the interior is very difficult right now for Champion. Here's a great look. Low block. Shot blocked underneath. And Coach Cole probably has a little comment there because there was a lot of contact right there. Drapola works it over to Bellis for three. Off the rim, no good. And the rebound comes down to Megan Turner for champion. Long pass down the floor. Pass is picked off by Bellis of Brookfield. Back this way we come. Bellis raises up short. And the rebound down to champion. Wide open, golden flash down the floor. It was Williams, but the problem was nobody saw her. And sometimes defense is on you a little too much, but before you put the ball in the deck, you got to make sure you secure it and look up the floor for some teammates. This is Turner. Shot blocked again. Lauren Pisa with the rejection for Brookfield. 
Now the Warriors, you'd imagine, would try to run some clock, but we'll see. Free throw line. This is Sidlowski. Over to Pisa. Side of the backboard. It's no good. Pinball basketball down the floor to a wide open Sindeldecker. Her shot was blocked, and it is controlled by Sidlowski. Boy, the defense here has been stellar. Drapola fires, and it rattles in. Tried to get the uh, easy run out. Great defensive play blocked by Bailey Trapola comes down the other end, gets the kind 15-foot free throw jumper. A dozen points for Bailey Trapola as we're inside of four minutes left. There is a whistle and a foul, and it comes with 3.55 left to play here in quarter number three. So to the free throw line, we will step. It is up, and it rattles in. So if this is a free throw make, we will take a timeout. 11 point lead for Brookfield, free throw up, and it is good. 3.55 left to play. Here in the third, got ourselves a barn burner here. We'll bring you back for more third quarter action after this. It's 34-25 in favor of Brookfield on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. If you or a loved one need rapid relief from opioid withdrawals and cravings, get help now. Call Dr. Anil Naluri, MD, to learn about new treatment options. 330-783-1147. 330-783-1147. Make me shoot you. This is my first day. You could have died. I almost did. What about the manual? Screw the manual. People are gonna die. That's just something you're gonna have to get used to. 1519, we have shots fired. You've all been judged. Capable, dedicated, loyal, courageous. You acted like a cop. Rookie Blue Weekends. Sunday at 10 on My YTV. Can you see through my blouse? Nope. I'll just have to make it work. Highly intelligent comedy. I've never been a loser. How do you guys do it? Hot in Cleveland. Hot in Cleveland. Weekdays at 4 on My YTV. Brookfield student section out in full force. Well, their Warriors have a 34-25 advantage. As we welcome you back live, Chad Krasinski, Will Klusenik with you. 3.50 left in quarter number three. Champion seems to have ratcheted up the defensive pressure. It's a jump ball, and the possession arrow will keep it right here. And that's exactly what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to create those opportunities, create the tie-ups, maybe speed up the game a little bit to try to get some of those runouts and easy baskets to cut into some of this lead. Bellis trapped. She escapes the trap. Into the corner, one dribble for Pisa. Errant pass, it's gonna be an over and back. So back to Champion it goes. Champion has had some opportunities. The Golden Flash is, however, unable to take advantage of those chances. You know, and every time I look up at that scoreboard, it's always like, kind of like six, seven, eight, nine, and that, you know, and you just can't have a couple of those possessions in a row to kind of get it to that two or three point where you really start to kind of get yourself excited. Oh, good looking take by White. She couldn't convert, however. And it'll go back to Brookfield with 3.20 left. And we're going to see a little pressure right now from Champion to try to create some of those turnovers and maybe speed up Brookfield just a little bit. Kenzie Drapola has it on the right wing outside the three-point line to Bellis. This is Drapola, And it is a whistle and three seconds called against Brookfield. Second or third time they've been called for three seconds tonight. Yeah, and that's one of those kind of unforced errors right there when, you know, you're just kind of watching the ball. You want to stay spread out and spaced out. But again, another opportunity here for Champion to cut into this lead. Turner in the corner. Trying to take it baseline is cut off. Bounce pass right along that baseline. Tie up, jump ball, and the possession arrow keeps it here. A lot of times when you get yourself stuck in that situation right there, we can see John Zabrowski, a Hall of Famer, from Brookfield doing a great job communicating with us. And right now, Brookfield 
has to have a quality possession, good look, good shot to get themselves going. Abby White for three, and she knocked it down. On cue, Abby White with another three, and that's exactly what they needed to get into the press, get themselves move a little quick, but you could see the athleticism, and Brooks on that able to finish it, and they're gonna get the foul call, and that's gonna be, I believe, number two on Bailey Japola. Japola went up and over the back. She had a point-blank range shot. It is her third, so that is a developing situation now with 2.28 remaining. And we're going to see how the, uh, the sophomore is able to respond here with that, you know, down six. They're trying to make a little run, and here they come. Megan Turner fights it up and in, and it is 34-30 in favor of Brookfield, and we have a timeout taken by Brookfield head coach Mark Morgan as it is now just a four-point Warriors lead at 34-30. Boy, the golden flashes seem to have flipped a switch, and they have it working now. And really, the, the only difference is you start knocking down a couple open looks. You start getting a few high-percentage shots. So now, instead of that 6-7 lead that you've been fighting, it's down to four. And if you're champion, you're starting to think, okay, the pressure's working a little bit. It's getting to making sure that they're playing a little quicker than they want to. And I'm sure Coach Morgan's going to sit here and say, hey, let's figure out, let's get a good quality possession, good look that we've had in that first period to make sure we don't extend that lead. But right now, excellent job by the Golden Flashes. Say so the stoppage of play gives us a chance to remind you that every week we pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krispinski, Will Klusenik with you. This one far from over. Brookfield ball. Warriors up four. Trapola over the take. And there's a reach-in foul as she tried to take it to the rack. Aaron Sindeldecker is called for the personal. That'll be her second. That shot up no good for Sheehan. Loose ball again, picked up by Champion into the hands of Molly Williams, who rattles in the deep triple. And right now, Champion getting some quality looks in transition. Brookfield unable to match up. And Molly Williams willing to knock down the three. 34-33, the plot thickens here at Brookfield. Top side, Kenzie Drapola puts it up and won't go, cleans it up. Second try won't go, but she's able to draw the contact and the foul. I think they just got Megan Turner. Yep, that's the case. That's the second team foul and number one on Turner. And so to the free throw line will step Kenzie Drapola, where tonight she is one for two. And the first free throw is up and good. She's a 62.5% free throw shooter coming into the ball game tonight. And this is where you really see you know, how your team is able to respond. You know, who steps up as the leader? Who's looking to get the quality looks? You know, and do they understand the situation in order to get some of those quality looks? Seven points for Kenzie Drapola. It's 36-33. Elena fell to the ball for Champion off the dribble, fell, raises up, puts it up too strong. Drapola comes down with a rebound. Bailey Drapola stops, firing three ball short. Rebound comes down to Champions Allison Smith. Smith swarmed upon. Ball nearly taken away, but it is controlled to Williams. Underneath fell, puts it up and won't go, but she will go to the free throw line. And that will be a developing story because Bailey Gipoli is probably going to come out of the game. That will be her fourth foul, which is a uh, situation right there that Coach uh, Morgan's going to have to kind of take care of for this last minute and five and see what he does into the fourth quarter. Elena Fell, a junior to the free throw line. Ready, aim, fires, no good. She's yet to score here in this one tonight, her team trailing 36-33. 
fell. Eyes it up. And misses the second. Rebound down to Kenzie Drapola. Here come the Warriors. Kenzie Drapola goes off the dribble, cut off near the elbow. Feeding it back outside to Lauren Pisa. Skip pass near side. Matty Bellis puts it up and won't go. Drapella cleans it up. It won't go. Second try. Up and good for Drapola. And it's 36 35 9 for Kenzie Drapola. Kenzie Drapola, that's two rebounds for her. Just her size. Don't think she's going to get in there, but extremely scrappy and gets after it. Again, great job of getting the easy bucket for your team. Beg your pardon. I think I tacked on the score for, for champion. It's 38 33. Here's two for champion at the other end. Easy look for Abby White. And it is 38 35. Here comes Kenzie Drapola all alone. Right low block, point blank range shot won't go. Sheehan hits the deck and is fouled with 9.2 seconds remaining. And I think that's going to be Turner called for the personal. It is. It'll be her second. With an opportunity here now to close out this quarter. You want the last shot, if possible, 9.2. Lob into Sheehan. Up no good. But she's able to draw the contact and the foul. It'll be called on Abby White. To her displeasure. Yep. Number three called on White. Brookfield trying to exploit the size and height differential. Boy, that's a pretty looking shot for Sheehan. She's four for four from the line. She has eight points at the moment, and it is a four-point lead for Brookfield. 39-35. 7.6 seconds left. Couldn't ask for a better free throw shot than that. Five-point lead. Final seconds. Ball in the hands of White. Into the corner, three ball up, off the rim, no good, cleaned up, and stuck back up and in by White. What a way to end things here in quarter number three. Should be a fun final eight minutes. It's a three-point lead for Brookfield. Champion beating the buzzer at the tail end of the third. The fourth quarter is next. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You're watching the high school basketball game of the week on my YTV. Powered by the WKBN 27 First News Network. An umbrella can keep you dry when it starts to pour, but it's a struggle to get it closed and into the door. Introducing Betterbrella, the ingenious new umbrella with reverse open-close technology. The secret? Betterbrella opens and closes differently than other umbrellas. So now it's super simple to get in and out of any door without getting wet. And never worry about the wind again, because Betterbrella is windproof. Standard umbrellas sell for more than $40, and one that's windproof is over $50. But today, you can get the all-new Betterbrella in your choice of black, red, or blue for just $29.99. Plus, call now and we'll instantly upgrade you to our special ergonomic handle. The soft comfort grip makes it easier to hold. Yours free. But wait, call right now and we'll double the offer. That's right, get a second better umbrella. Just pay separate fee. Call now. Call 1-800-710-3415. That's 1-800-710-3415. Or order online at buybetterbrella.com. On sale now. Get a gift certificate to Shale Tavern and Grill in Lisbon for 50% off. Enjoy delicious food in a beautiful atmosphere. Try the tender and smoky, soon-to-be-famous ribs, big and juicy burgers, slow-cooked tavern beef with smashed red skins, and save room for dessert. Get this half-off deal with no fees right now at myvalleydining.com. Enjoy a great meal at a great area restaurant for half-off. Sign up for weekly email notifications from myvalleydining.com. There's a new deal every week. A TV dad has to be mature. I want to turn on the swing set. Get lost. Instill confidence. Am I ugly? Where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. And be completely supportive. I don't want to go to fat camp. Hey, fatty, I hear you're going to fat camp. Remember, father knows less. These aren't my kids. And also, this isn't play yeah. wrestling. We're actually fighting. On Family Guy. Viewer discussion advice. Weekdays at 6 on My YTV. Perhaps a few future Brookfield Warriors. And those youngsters have seen a good basketball game here tonight on the ladies' side. 
40 to 37. Brookfield up by three as we are now underway here in period number four. Ball in the hands of Bellis. Firing for three off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound cleaned up by Pisa. Pisa. Right low block underneath Sheehan. Spinning, firing, missing short. And the rebound to Megan Turner. Champion. Turner has it poked free from her grasp from behind. And it's out of bounds. It'll stay with Champion. Kenzie Drapola with a back tap. Just really appreciate her effort, her hustle, her nose for the ball. Just communicating. Just doing a lot of things right now that don't show up on the score sheet. Off the dribble goes Williams. Outside the three-point line, this is Sindel Decker. Look at Molly Williams firing. Long one, it won't go. The rebound down to Lauren Pisa. Pisa up the floor, has it on the far side right wing. Pisa cut off, bounce pass Sheehan. Off the glass and in! And that's what they didn't do in that third quarter. Start to get some of those point-blank shots. The previous possession, they weren't able to capitalize. Sheehan does take advantage of the great assist right there. 42-37 is our score. Champion basketball into the hands of Turner. This is Sindel Decker. Out front to White. Just over a minute into the fourth quarter. 42-37 is our score. Bounce pass from Allison Smith, and we have another turnover, giving it back to Brookfield. Sometimes you can be too unselfish. Yeah, she had two players honored. Yeah, just not really good footwork right there. Probably was the right look, but you got to be able to get make the play. Kenzie Trapola shot won't go. Off the miss, rebound comes down to champion. Long lob, all alone. Allison Smith puts it up and in. And the run out, that's the second or third time, but they've been able to do that. Get the rebound and get it down the floor for the easy bucket. Cutting and lead to three. 42-39 underneath. Shot blocked. Zapola was rejected. Looking for Sheen again. That pass picked off. Champion. Another long lob down the floor. That time Allison Smith was open again, but the pass was off the mark. Out of bounds. Back to Brookfield. Again, right idea. You know, just bad execution. You want to look up to your teammates. She was open. Got to be able to lead her to a spot. Give her the opportunity to make the play on the ball. Pass is picked off. Sindel Decker, line lane, able to draw the contact. And the foul. And it'll be called on Dana Sidlowski. That will be number two on Sidlowski. And... We have a timeout taken on the floor with 5.59 left to play here in our ball game tonight. Boy, there is a tournament type of a feel here in this one tonight. It's a great crowd, a crowd that's into the ball game, and two teams that are really laying it on the line with plenty at stake. Plenty at stake, and both teams have had their runs, and Coach Morgan understands being up three, he doesn't want to have this slip away. They've had a couple turnovers, easy runouts. You know, being a veteran coach understands the importance of this possession and doesn't want him to them to get within one where they haven't been for in a long time. So out of the timeout, the ball will belong to the Golden Flashes. Both teams entering tonight 12 and 3. Williams looking. Williams stepped over that baseline. And it's a turnover back to Brookfield. Again, the unforced errors. That's probably one of the most important positions on the floor to have that trigger person to make sure that they're secure and confident in what they can do. Ball in the hands of Pisa. Her pocket is picked. Champion ball running the floor up. No good. But Allison Smith is going to go to the free throw line, and they're going to call an intentional foul. You disagree. Well, I don't know if I disagree or not. That's one of those bang, bang calls. He was right there. But anytime you get on a breakaway and you put your back on somebody, um, again, without seeing a better camera, that, that's a questionable call. Uh, she went for the ball, didn't think she went in after the back, wasn't any type of violent action, uh, was just trying to prevent her. So we're gonna see it if there's any type of thing on the back here. Yeah, excellent call. Yep, good call. Excellent call right there. Fantastic job. Two free throws up and in for Allison Smith.
And that's how good these guys are, Chad. Yeah. You know, they have a bang-bang play. I had to watch it twice to figure it out if it was the right call. One-point lead for Brookfield. Champion basketball following the intentional foul. Golden Flash is looking to take the lead. They won't do it there as Megan Turner is called for the walk. And it'll go back to Brookfield with 541 left. You know, the biggest thing with 541, Chad, we're going to see which team has the most poise Loose and ball. control. Boy, this has been Helter Skelter holding on to the ball at different points of the night. Sindel Decker out front to Molly Williams. You know, you always want to play quick, but you don't want to hurry and get yourself out of sorts. And sometimes both teams have gotten into that rut. And there's another deflection by Kenzie Drapola. Excellent job just being in the right spot at the right time. Megan Turner picks up the personal. And that is her third, and the ball will belong to Brookfield. And both teams have been very kind tonight. Again, with 10 and 12 turnovers. A lot of times, though, it's been in bunches, and that's not why it looks a little helter-skelter at times. Kenzie Trapola has her pocket picked. Ball is controlled by Champion. Long lob down the floor. Allison Smith puts it up and in. And Champion takes a one-point lead. Champion has found a chink in the armor. Got to make sure you rotate back at somebody so they don't get those easy runouts. And that's the second time that Allison Smith has been able to do that. Sheehan feeds it outside. This is Lauren Pisa. And the ball is out of bounds. And as we will see Drapola, Bailey, that is, yeah, come back in. And that's pretty much expected. You saw that. She's got to play with some intensity. Make sure she's in the right position. Don't get yourself out of position to, to let the refs make an easy call on you. Bailey Drapola back in for Brookfield with four fouls. Champion by one. Bellis has her pass picked off. Down the floor, this is Allison Smith, putting it up and in! Smith running the racetrack. Timeout on the floor, 424 left to play, huge 12-point night for Allison Smith, the freshman coming through in a big way. And that's a fantastic look right there, Chad, by Abby White, finding the freshman with the finish. Of course, running the floor, the great footwork to get the outstanding positioning, to get a good high percentage shot. And not only that, but to convert it as well. That's a, a very polished looking player for a young player. An excellent body control. You knew the contact was coming. And what an opportunity now here for a champion who didn't play their best basketball in that first half. But again, we talked about it, very similar to that first game that they did play. Say tonight's high school basketball game of the week is being streamed live at WKBN.com. Download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. And you'll also find high school scores, stories, and plenty of highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today. Of course, signing day for high school seniors and such coming up next week. And we'll have you covered from wall to wall as those verbal commitments and then signings become official. That's the only place to go, WKBN.com. Ball knocked out of bounds. Great reflexes there by the official. Yep. Able to duck and dive out of the way. But anytime you get those type of deflections, you know, makes it a lot more difficult on the offensive end. 45-42 is our score. Brookfield trailing by three now after leading most of the way. Ball in the hands of Kenzie Drapola. Rapola firing, three ball for the tie, it won't go. Rebound down to White. They were looking down the floor. White, great decision. Doesn't make the play. And now we're gonna see here, Brookfield, they're gonna have to come out of the zone here just a little bit with down three. Probably not gonna let them sit here and just hold the ball the entire time. For the corner, it's Williams. One dribble, Sindel Decker, top of the key. This is Turner. Champion playing keep away. Abby White gives it to Sindel Decker. There's Turner and now Williams. Williams nearly walked ball, poke free, loose ball, and 
There is contact and a foul with 3.20 left to play. Great in the fourth quarter. Yep. Yeah, great sportsmanship there. Kenzie Japal gets the deflection and the foul, but excellent job with the sportsmanship. So okay. with that, we will take a timeout with 3.20 left to play here in the ball game, and we've got ourselves a ball game. It's 45-42, champion girls leading Brookfield on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Hi, my name is Dr. Mohanad Kasawat. I'm a board-certified psychiatrist and addiction medicine specialist. One out of each 14 Americans suffers from depression. Most associates depression with sadness, but other symptoms such as loss of interest, guilt, and low energy are ignored. At Serenity Center, we focus on each patient individually. Our counselors develop a customized treatment plan to work on coping skills and medication are used when needed. At Serenity Center, we listen. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back for the final three minutes and 20 seconds. 45-42, champion with the lead, looking to add on Abby White to the stripe. And she drilled it. Abby White now with 19 points. She's a 62% free throw shooter. She's now four for five on the night. She has had a huge ball game in this one. Second one is perfect. And it is a 20-point ball game. Abby White scored 20 in the first meeting between the two. She now has 20 again tonight. Air ball at the other end. It'll go back to the Golden Flashes. Champion stringing a couple possessions together, up five. We're going to see if the press hurts them a little bit now to try to get them playing a little bit faster than they want to. 47-42, Golden Flashes with a basketball. Champion playing keep away. Ball in the hands of Allison Smith, who's been huge tonight. Megan Turner feeding it to the elbow, and now you just play keep away and make good fundamental passes, Will. Good fundamental passes. Hopefully, if you get yourself into trouble, you're going to get the timeout. You're going to hold the ball also because you got the possession error, but you don't want to get deflections and get the turnover. But great job by Allison Smith to get it back. Smith sticking with it. Sindel Decker feeds it into the corner to White. White takes it baseline, feeds a wide open teammate, and Williams sticks it up and in. Nice job of being patient, and you have to take what they're giving you. Went the baseline, Williams a recipient for the, from the assist. Seven point lead, Bailey Drapola, floater up, it won't go. She hits the deck, took one to the face, and will go to the line and shoot two. And she's definitely been very, very quiet this second half, and again, a lot of that has to do with some of the foul trouble, but you could see the athleticism uh, and, and the future definitely that she has uh, the next couple years. Very polished looking player. In fact, we see a lot of very polished players on the floor tonight. As Drapola steps to the line, she'll try to split the pair. She battled that foul trouble in the third quarter. She now has 13, and it is 49-43. Champion ball. Golden flashes once again playing keep away. It's Williams. They work it around to the near side to White. Inside of two minutes left. At what point do you foul, Will? Uh, pretty quick here. I'm not sure what they're waiting for. Down six. You got to put something in pretty quick because you don't want to give up easy buckets. But if they're going to shoot it, no need to foul. No need to foul. Cross the time stripe into the forecourt. Bellis to the line, to the lane. Has it ripped free from her grasp. There's a steal by Turner ahead of the pack. Smith once again can't stick that one in. Offensive rebound by Sendel Decker. She wasn't able to convert, but maybe even more importantly, Champion has the ball and can run some clock. Yeah, that runs her clock, and you've got to start fouling pretty quick here. Uh, and you've got to know who you've got to foul because you're running out of time here by not fouling. White 
They feed it back to Williams. Underneath, low post. Trying to draw some contact. Ball is saved in. But it's off champion, and we'll go back to Brookfield with 64 seconds left and a little bit of an odd sequence. But now a timeout is called with 104 remaining. A reminder coming up after the ball game, we will visit with our player of the game, and we will also visit with our victorious head coach, whoever that might be. And boy, Will, I'll tell you what, we're not done for the week. On Friday night, we're heading back over to the boys' side, and look at that, the battle of the Bulldogs. It is Poland and Lakeview coming at you Friday night. Anytime those teams get together, it's always a war. And we'll have it for you live Friday night at 7 o'clock right here on my YTV. Should be fun. It should be fantastic. And it's always a great opportunity that we get to different venues and see some of these different uh, student sections. So looking forward to uh, getting up to Lakeview there. And we hope you'll join us Friday night from Cortland. That is Poland and Lakeview. And so now as this, we've got the sequence now. If you're Brookfield, you're down six. It's your possession. You know, you're looking to get, uh, you know, possibly a quick three in transition, an easy run out. You know, if you also can get yourself to the foul line and get some points while the clock is stopped, uh, that's always a bonus. But you can't waste any more time here. You've got to have successful possessions, both on the offense and defensive end. Just over a minute left. Brookfield will have to convert something. They'll have to do something quickly. Sidlowski works it over to Drapola. Drapola off the dribble, raises up with the baseline jumper, and she rattles it up and in. 49-45 champion hurries ahead. Williams. Williams feeding Smith. Loose ball picked up by Williams. They feed it back to Smith, and now champion playing keep away again. White feeds Williams. 31 seconds left. And we have a whistle and a foul. Four-point lead back to the free throw line. We'll step the champion Golden Flashes. It'll be the second foul on Bellis. First trip to the free throw line for Molly Williams. She fires and hits a 76.7% free throw shooter is Molly Williams. Williams to this point has been strong. Eight points, three boards. And she drilled another. 51-45. And a timeout has been called with 31.2 seconds left. And that's exactly what you want to do when you get fouled. Get yourself to the free throw line. Get your best shooters up there. And when you're shooting 77%, knock them down and give yourself and your team that opportunity to get out on the road with a W. Now, if things hold up, and I'm not saying they will, certainly, 31 seconds is a boatload of time, especially when you talk about crazy turnovers and things. But as you look at this and what the impact would be on the standings, champion coming into this one, 6-1, and one, Tied with Newton Falls in the All-American Conference blue tier. Now, at least for the night, champion, from our perspective, where we are, would improve to 7-1 and one with a victory. And Brookfield would take certainly a step backwards in its quest to win a conference crown in the AAC blue tier. But, again, champion certainly taking that big step against a very good Newton Falls team. And, boy, that should be fun in the final couple of weeks. It's a great game for Brookfield and again we still have a little bit of time left here to go but Brookfield's one of those teams where they're going to have some growing pains as, as they get older here trying to figure out here during tournament time uh, they'll be a very dangerous team though that shot up it is no good it's out of bounds that will go back to champion golden flashes by the way top Newton Falls 61 57 earlier in the season Ball is into Williams, who's fouled. That's one of those situations wasting a little bit of time in those precious seconds by not fouling right when they get the ball. It's a very heads-up play by Bellis to, to get the foul on the sideline. And Williams is going to head to the free throw line here again, where she's already two for two.
Free throw up. It is no good. Smith working hard for the rebound. Saves it in. It ricochets. Is still loose. Back to Smith. Champion will control with a six-point lead with 10 seconds left. Sindeldecker holds the ball. And we have a five-second call with four seconds left. Four point one seconds remaining. And Brookfield is just going to run out of time as Bellis will hoist up a three and miss it as the fourth quarter expires. Final score in this one here tonight, champion 51, Brookfield 45. When we come back, we will visit with our player of the game. We saw a good one at the All-American Conference Blue Tier. We'll be back after this and begin our post-game coverage that comes your way. After these words, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good evening, I'm Corbin Baker. Tonight we'll take a look at how Austin Town Schools' open enrollment policy will be different next school year. And I'm Chase Evans. A huge night of high school girls hoops coming at you, headlined by a good one in the All-American Conference, champion at Brookfield. Highlights and reaction tonight in sports. And temperatures will be dropping overnight. The snow that you see off to our west, that's headed in our direction. I'll show you when the flakes start at 11. If you or a loved one need rapid relief from opioid withdrawals and cravings, get help now. Call Dr. Anil Naluri, MD, to learn about new treatment options. 330-783-1147. 330-783-1147. Physical, aquatic, occupational, and speech therapy. All at one facility, all working to get you better. After my knee replacement, Atlas helped me get back to playing with my grandchildren. I got great results at Atlas after my work injury, and I was able to return to work feeling better than I did before. Thanks to Atlas, my search for lymphedema therapy is over. After my surgery, I was unable to drive. Atlas picked me up for my therapy appointment. Atlas Rehab and Wellness Center, we put your world on our shoulders. They're not traditional. And restrictions may apply, but not many. They don't play it safe. Known as the risk takers of morning news. Daring to be different. Throwing caution to the wind. Literally. Be different with Lynn Rome and Jim Lowboy. Weekday mornings on WYTV 33 News Daybreak. MyValleyTributes.com pays homage to loved ones that are no longer with us. Read, share, and preserve your loved one's life story. For obituaries and calling hours, go to MyValleyTributes.com. Welcome back inside live at Brookfield High School where the champion Golden Flashes come away with a 51 to 45 victory. Hi again, everybody. Chad Perspinski. So pleased to be joined by our player of the game, Abby White, who finishes with 20 points on the night. First of all, to come away with a huge victory, you knew what was at stake here tonight in terms of the All-American Conference standings in the tier. You guys are both fighting for a league championship. What was the difference here, and what does this win mean to you guys? Our execution, that's what we needed to have. We needed to have momentum and power to get going. The first half was not good at all. We, our coach even said that. But we came out, and we started pressing. We start, our intensity started get up, getting up, and we just did it. So, How much motivation was there, knowing how close you were? Of course, champion, Newton Falls, Brookfield, entering the night not far behind. How important was it to get this win tonight? Oh, that was very important. That's... We, we needed this, and we needed the last game against, or oh, two, two games ago, I think, against Newton Falls. But it was just, we needed that for the seniors and for the whole team. Mm -hmm. How good can this team be moving forward? You have so much balance. It's not just one focal point, one player that does all the scoring. It's very balanced. And any time that your team needed a big shot, it was you coming up with a big shot tonight uh, throughout the course of the second half. But how good can this team be? based on how many different weapons that you have. Oh, we can be very good. We have Allison Smith, that's a big. We have Molly Williams that can just shoot threes and she can drive to the hoop whenever. We have Izzy Durso, she's a good power dribbler. Erin, she's a good lefty, she can use her left strong. 
but it's just it's all, it's all about teamwork in this game. Like it's not just me or it's not just Molly. It's everyone. And Megan Turner, it's she's not she not she knocked down the first three of the game, and that's that's what got us going. I'm pretty sure. Last thing is, and I'll ask you. Of course, you trailed by quite a lot at one point during the game. Tell me about what the mindset was to not get down to know that you could come back and you could rally in the second half and come away with a victory like you did. See, we never give up as a team. We never give up. And if we give up, then we're done. But we, as a team, we never give up. And you have to believe that we're going to win this game. We have to believe that we're going to come back and we're going to succeed. Congratulations on a great job tonight. 20 points and congratulations for being named our player of the game. Thank you. That's Abby White, our player of the game, helping the champion Golden Flashes to a 51-45 victory over the Brookfield Warriors. Our post-game coverage continues. After this, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Are you tired of paying expensive cable or satellite bills month after month? Now you see them. Now you don't. You don't need expensive cable or satellite anymore. All you need is the free TV key from Clear TV. Now you can watch your favorite broadcast network shows for free. That's right, forget about paying hundreds of dollars a year for satellite or cable only channels. The free TV key hides behind your TV and is easy. Just plug it into your TV's cable input, no wires, no unsightly antennas. Your television will instantly receive top rated network shows, local news and weather, sporting events, and more, all for free in vivid HD and digital signal. If we're just off the coast here in the Gulf of Mexico receiving free network broadcast HD TV, imagine all the free channels the TV key can unlock for you. Thanks to a federal government mandate, all broadcasters are required to broadcast a digital TV signal through the airwaves. Cable and satellite services can cost you up to $80 a month. That's $960 a year and almost $10,000 over a 10-year period. With the free TV key, there's no contracts, no monthly fees, and no unexpected rate increases. Watch again. Just plug it in and get free TV. Call or go online now to get your free TV key HD digital antenna for just $19.99. I took my free TV key out of the box, plugged it into the cable input, and now I get to watch all my favorite broadcast channels for free. This compact design is perfect for an apartment, ideal for college dorm room or boat, or on your RV. And forget about paying monthly fees for extra receivers. Order right now and you can add a second free TV key. Just pay separate processing and handling. That's two free TV keys, a $40 value, all for only $19.99. Not available in stores. Order now. The champion Golden Flashes are a happy bunch, all smiles, following a 51-45 victory over Brookfield here tonight in All-American Conference Blue Tier Action. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski, so pleased to be joined by Mike Cole, the head coach of the Golden Flashes. And coach, first of all, congratulations on the victory. What did you tell your group? It wasn't necessarily a pretty first half, but would you tell them to get them going in the second half to come up with that huge rally? Well, as I was um, honest with them, I told them uh, that was our worst half of all year. And to be down six, that was a positive. Uh, our assistant coach had us recorded at 13 turnovers. Our goal is 15 for a game, so we were on par for 26. And that was all Brookfield. You know, that trap, we knew that they were going to run and jump, and we just did not execute the way we should have. And we threw the ball to them, I mean, I like I said, 13 times. Turnovers, too much. Can't say enough about what your group was able to do in crunch time. You talk about Abby White. You talk about Allison Smith. Some huge baskets down the stretch. What was the difference down the stretch? Well, we put a press on them in the second half. I think not only just for creating turnovers, but it gets us motivated. We start playing a little faster. Uh, after that, we just started attacking way too passive in the first half. So we started attacking. It was a big factor having Bailey getting in foul trouble. That was huge, you know. I mean, when, when she's out for probably three or four minutes in the fourth quarter, that's really when we turned it over, you know, turn it on to them. Tell me about what this means. Obviously, it was an important game tonight in the conference standings. You still have your sights set on that AAC crown, and now it's still kind of within reach. It certainly is. As now you're still atop there. How important was it? What does this win mean? I told the girls, we lose one in the league, we lose the league. Because I can't imagine Newton Falls hadn't lost in three years in the league. I don't know if they'll lose again. They are going to have to play Brookfield, and that's going to be a tough matchup for them, especially here. But 
we have to take care of our business. So it, it was enormous for us for the league standings. Congratulations on yes. a great <laughs> win and enjoy the rest of the season. Hey. We'll look forward to catching up with you down Thank the road. Thank you. That's champion head coach Mike Cole following a 51-45 victory. Golden flashes top the Warriors to improve to 13-3. and We'll wrap it up. When we come back, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Do you have trouble falling asleep? Do you toss and turn all night or wake up with a sore neck or headache? Then it's time you discovered my pillow. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Just like you, I had problems sleeping. I tried every pillow out there and nothing worked. Ten years ago, I invented my pillow. It took me two years to develop because I wanted to have everything you would ever want in a pillow. I made sure that you could adjust my patented fill so you could have the exact support you need as an individual regardless of your sleep position. I also wanted a pillow that would last, so I made my pillow machine washable and dryable. I back my pillow with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee. Not only that, I do all my own manufacturing in my home state of Minnesota. I'm giving you a very special offer on MyPillow Premium. Use this promo code and I'll give you 30% off when you order at MyPillow.com or call this 1-800 number now. Other pillows go flat, causing you to fold them over or use your arm for support, which can cause pain. Hard foam pillows can raise your head too high, making you very uncomfortable. But the revolutionary MyPillow has patented fill that won't go flat and keeps your neck supported and aligned to your exact individual need. MyPillow helps you get and stay in deep sleep all night long. Before MyPillow, sleeping was a nightmare. First night I got it, slept like a baby. Just was out, completely out. I sleep better. I wake up, I feel refreshed, I feel healthy. My pillow helps me get a good night's sleep so I can do my job in the morning. I personally guarantee that my pillow will be the most comfortable pillow you'll ever own. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Call or go to mypillow.com now to order a my pillow premium, and Mike will give you 30% off. This offer is only available online or when you call this number. Use the promo code on your screen and you'll save 30%. My pillow comes with an unprecedented 60-day money-back guarantee. Order now. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Getting set to pack up and head out of Brookfield High School following a, a thrilling 51-45 victory. The Golden Flashes from Champion pick up win number 13. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back. Joined again by Will Klusenick. Very entertaining game. Two of the better teams, and neither one disappointed tonight. But the winner champion certainly put on a show in that second half. And I think the coach alluded to it. You know, they, they didn't play very well in that first half. They came out in the second half, did what they needed to do. And a lot of that, he again alluded to uh, Bailey uh, Chipola having to sit out for those couple minutes. You know, really hurt Brookfield. But some of those runouts that Allison Smith got really got them going to get into that lead and keep the lead in some free throw shooting down the stretch. Really seemed to energize them in that second half. It's almost as if the Golden Flash has sort of flipped a switch. They turned on that press that Coach talked about, and the rest, as they say, is history. They hit some big free throws down the stretch, and that's why they're 13-3 and three now. And they're both teams, very good teams, but just down the stretch you saw champion able to, to hit some of those free throws have a little bit more composure and that's something that you're going to grow as a team and get yourself ready for tournament time the great thing about this game it doesn't end your season you can learn from it be objective and move on a great preparation for postseason play with the victory champion improved to 13 and 3 overall and now 7 and 1 in the aac blue tier meanwhile brookfield drops to 12 and 4 on the campaign and 4 and 3 in conference play. Much thanks to our fine folks and our fine crew here for all of their hard work bringing you this girls basketball game. For our statistician Ray Klempe, my name is Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenick telling you once again the final score. Champion 51, Brookfield 45. We'll talk to you Friday night in boys action. It's Poland facing off with Lakeview. Till next time, so long everybody.